Hi, welcome to this Corp Maths video. In this video, we're going to go through the video solutions to the identities, formulae, equations, expressions, inequalities, etc. practice questions. So, knowing those mathematical terms. And if you need any extra help on this topic, if you go to corpmaths.com forward slash contents and scroll down to video number 367a, there's a video tutorial there explaining what each of these terms are. In this video, we're going to focus on the video solutions to the practice questions. So, let's get started. So question number one. Question number one says match each of the following to the right description. So we've got 8G plus 3H. We've got J plus J is equivalent to 2J. 5K plus 1 is equal to 36. And 2M is less than 9. And we've got these four choices, identity, expression, inequality, and equation. So let's match these up. Now, first of all, we've got 8G plus 3H. Now, we don't have an equal sign or equivalent sign or inequality sign. So this is just an expression. So that's an expression. Next, we've got J plus J is equivalent to 2J. Well, J plus J is always equal to 2J. So that's an identity. So that's always equal to. Next, we've got 5K plus 1 is equal to 36. Well, that's an equation from solving equations. You'd recognize that you could solve this and take one away from both sides and get 5K is equal to 35. Divide by 5 and divide by 5 and get K is equal to 7. So there's a particular value for K there, which, we're trying to, which we can find. So that's an equation, something we can solve. And finally, we've got this inequality. We've got 2M is less than 9. So that's an inequality because we've got this less than sign, this inequality sign in there. So we've got 2M is less than 9. So that's an inequality. And that's it. So we've matched each of the following to the right description. Okay, let's have a look at question number two. So question number two, we've got four mathematical words, expression, identity, inequality, and equation. And we have to choose a word from the list above to complete each one of these statements. So we've got 2x plus 10y is an. Now it's an, but actually they all start with vowels, e, i, i, e. So that's not going to help us. Uh, so we've got 2x plus 10y. Now it doesn't have an equal sign or an inequality sign or our um, equivalent sign or so on. So that's an expression. So that is an expression. Next, we've got 9 plus x is less than 12. We've got this inequality sign. We've got the less than symbol. So that's an inequality. So that's inequality. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question, question number three. We've been asked to write down examples of an expression. Well, I'm going to write down 11a plus 4b. That's an expression. It doesn't have an equal sign or an inequality sign or equivalent symbol or so on. And it's 11 lots of a plus 4 lots of b. Okay, part b said write down an equation. So perhaps something we need to solve. So x plus 99 is equal to 125. We could solve this by taking away 99 from both sides of the equation. and get that x is equal to 26. So that's an equation. It's something we can solve. So that's our equation. Next, we've been asked to write down an inequality. So that's something perhaps with a less than symbol or less than or equal to or greater than symbol or greater than or equal to symbol. So I'm going to write down 10x plus 8 is bigger than or equal to 20 because we've got this bigger than or equal to symbol in there. That's an inequality. Okay, part D. Part D says a formula. So we could write down a formula connecting some variables, perhaps ones that we know. Perhaps the area of a circle is pi r squared or the circumference of a circle is pi times diameter or 2 pi r. I'm going to write down the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle. So the perimeter is equal to two times the length plus two times the width. So the perimeter of a rectangle is equal to two times the length plus two times the width. And that's a formula. It links those variables, the length and the width and the perimeter. And then E, we've been asked to write down an identity. Well, something that's always equal to something. So I'm going to write 4x plus x is equivalent to 5x. 4x plus x is always equal to 5x. Okay, let's have a look at our next question, question number four. So question number four, we've been asked to match each of the following to the right description. And we've got 2y plus 1 is equal to 7, and that's an equation. We've got the area is equal to pi r squared. Well, we talked about that in the last question. That's a formula. It's linking the radius of a circle to the area of the circle. So that is a formula. Then we've got x is bigger than or equal to 1. That's an inequality because we've got that inequality symbol here. And then finally, we've got x plus x is equivalent to 2x. Well, x plus x is always equal to 2x. So that's going to be an identity. And that's it. OK, let's have a look at our next question, question number five. So question number five says, here are six mathematical words. So we've got coefficient, expression, identity, term, inequality, and equation. And we've been asked to choose the words from the list above to complete this statement. 4c is the last something of the something 2a plus 5b plus 4c. 
I'm actually going to start with this one here because it says off the something this. So let's see what this is. 2a plus 5b plus 4c. Well, it's not a coefficient. A coefficient is a number in front of a variable. So here, the 4 in front of the c would be the coefficient of the c would be 4. An expression. Well, this is an expression. So that is an expression because it's a collection of terms uh, which doesn't have an equal sign or an equality symbol or or an equivalent sign or so on. It's not an identity, it's not a term, it's not an inequality, and it's not an equation. So it's an expression. So 4c is the last something of the expression 2a plus 5b plus 4c. Now what is this 4c? So this 4c, well it's one of the terms. 4c is the last term of this expression. We've got the first term, which is 2a, the middle term, which is 5b, and the last term, which is 4c. So 4c is the last term of the expression 2a plus 5b plus 4c. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question, question number six. So question number six says, tick the box that is next to the inequality. So the inequality, we're looking for our inequality symbols that the greater than or less than or greater than or equal to or less than or equal to symbols. They will be in our inequality. So we've got volume is equal to length times width times height. That's a formula. We've got 3x plus 2y. Well, that's an expression. We've got 9x subtract 10 is equal to 17. That's an equation. We've got 6a plus 2a is always equal to 8a. That's an identity. And then finally, we've got this greater than or equal to symbol here. 5x subtract 1 is greater than or equal to 7. So that is an inequality. And we've been asked to tick that box. So I've ticked it. Okay, next, part B. Part B says tick the box that is next to the formula. So let's have a look and see what we've got. We've got 10y take away y. Well, 10y take away y is always equal to 9y. That's an identity. We've got 9x take away 2y. That's an expression. We've got 10x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 21. That's an inequality. Now we're looking for a formula. We've got the area. A is equal to half the base times the height. That's the area of a triangle. That's the formula for the area of the triangle. It's linking the variables, the base, the height, and the area. So that is our formula. So let's tick that. And finally, we've got an equation that we would solve here. Now we were asked to tick the formula, so the box next to the formula. So we've done that. Okay, let's have a look at our next question, question number seven. So Tekla writes down the expression 5x plus 8y subtract 4z. And we've been asked to write down the first term of the expression. So here's our expression. And the first term would be 5x. So 5x is the first term of that expression. The middle term would be 8y, and the last term of the expression would be minus 4z. But we were asked to write then the first term, so it's going to be 5x. Okay, let's have a look at our next question, question number 8. So question number 8, we've been asked to circle the identity. So the identity is something that's always equal to something else. So let's have a look at these. Well, first of all, this is an inequality because it's got that less than symbol. So that's not an identity. And this one's just an expression. We've got x plus 1 cubed. We could multiply out that bracket and we would just get something cubed plus something squared plus something, so many x's plus a number perhaps. And so that's just an expression. So that's not an identity. So let's have a look at these two here. This one's got an equal sign and this one's got an equivalent sign. So this one's going to be the identity because we're still that it's always equal to it. Let's just actually expand our brackets and check it. If we had x plus 2, close bracket squared, if we expanded our brackets, that would mean that we'd write the bracket by itself. So x plus 2 bracket x plus 2. So that means we've got x plus 2 lots of x plus 2. So let's do x lots of x plus 2. So that's x times x, which is x squared, and x times 2, which is plus 2x. So we've done x lots of x plus 2. Now we need to do 2 lots of x plus 2. So we've done x times x and x times 2. Now we're going to do 2 lots of it. So 2 times x, which would be plus 2x, and 2 times 2 is equal to 4. And if we simplify this, we get x squared, and 2x plus 2x is plus 4x, and then we've got plus 4. And if you expand this bracket, you will always get that equal to x squared plus 4x plus 4. And that's what's written down, that this bracket, x plus 2 squared, is always equal to x squared plus 4x plus 4. And that's right. So that is our identity. It's always equal to it. And this one's going to be an equation. And let's just check it. If we multiply both sides of this equation by 9, on the left-hand side, we multiply by 9 and multiply by 9. On the left-hand side, we'll just be left with 7 minus x. And on the right-hand side, we'll get that equal to 9x plus 9, multiplying both of these by 9. And then we could just solve this by adding x to both sides, taking away from 9 from both sides, and so on. And then you can get a value for x. And that's an equation that you're solving. Now, we were asked to find the identity and circle it. So this is the identity and let's circle it so that's the identity okay let's have a look at question number nine okay so question number nine question number nine says indeed he was asked to write down an identity so an identity has something that's always equal to something else and so it's written down 10x is equivalent to 4x plus 12. 
Now, 10x isn't always equal to 4x plus 12. So, for instance, if x was equal to 20, you'd have 10 times x, which is 200. And then on this side, you'd have 4 times x, and 4 times 20 is 80, plus 12 is equal to 92. So, they're not always equal to each other. There's values for x which they're not equal to. And actually, if you actually wrote down 10x equals 4x plus 12 you can actually solve that as an equation so she's actually written down an equation something that can be solved where there's one solution she used the equivalent symbol but if she put an equal sign in there it's actually an equation not an identity it's not always equal to it she should have written down something that's always equal to something else so let's write that down and that's it so i've just written down indeed he has written down an equation not an identity 10x equals 4x plus 12 is not satisfied by every value of x. There's values for x, like we've seen 20, where it's not equal to it. So she should have written down something such as x plus x is equivalent to 2x, something like that. That's an identity. It's always equal to it. And that's it. So these have been the video solutions to the identities, formulae, equations, expressions, inequalities, terms, coefficients, and so on, practice questions. I really hope you found this video useful. If you have found it useful, please like it and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.